Wondering how to prevent unauthorized access to passwords in your app? In this video, I'll show you a foolproof method to encrypt and decrypt passwords using vb.net. Here's the sample. I will input a password string that I want to encrypt. Then, when I click the encrypt button, it will generate the encrypted password. When I want to decrypt the encrypted password back to the original text, I'll just copy the encrypted text and click the decrypt button. As you can see, it will decrypt and return to the original text. Do you want to know how I did this? I will show you step by step, so make sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. But before we start, welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. First, create a new project. In the top menu, click File, then New, and then click Project. A new window will pop up. In the left menu, select Visual Basic, then Windows, and then select Windows Forms Application. Enter a file name for your project. You can choose any name, but make sure it's related to the project that you're working on. Once done, click OK. Add a label, and change the text to enter password. Add a text box, and rename it to txt password. Add a button, rename it to btn encrypt. and change the text to encrypt. Add another text box for the output and rename it to txt encrypted result. Next, add another label and change the text to encrypted password. Now, let's add code to our program. Double click on the form to open the code editor. At the top, add the following references. Imports system.security.cryptography. This is used for encryption and decryption functionality. Imports system.txt. This handles text encoding, necessary for converting strings to byte arrays for encryption. Next, let's add a function named encrypt with a parameter password as a string. This function will be used to encrypt our password. I have the code ready here, so feel free to pause the video to copy it. I've added an extra layer of security by including a secret key. You can choose any key you want. For this example, I will use pass123. Once done, Go back to the design view and double click on the encrypt button. Add the following code inside the button. If not string dot is null or empty, txt password dot text, then. This code checks if the password text box is empty. If it's not empty, add the following code. txt encrypted result dot text equals, encrypt, txt password dot text. This will display the encrypted password in the txt encrypted result text box by calling the encrypt function we created earlier, passing the value of txt password as the parameter. If txt password is empty, display a message box that says, please enter a password to encrypt. Once done, go back to the design view and run the program. Enter any password you want to encrypt. In my case, I'll enter hello world. Click the encrypt button. As you can see, we have successfully encrypted the password I entered. Let's try another text, or password to encrypt. We are done with the encryption. Before we move on to the decryption, if you want more videos like this, and haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, so you will be updated on my upcoming videos. Now, let us proceed to the decryption. 
Stop the program. Copy all the objects on the form. Change the label text to Enter Encrypted Password. Change the text box name to TXT Encrypted. Change the button name to BTN Decrypt. And change the text to Decrypt. For the output, change the label text to Decrypted Password and change the text box name to TXT Decrypted Result. Once done, let's add the code for decryption. Double click on the Decrypt button. At the bottom, let's add a new function for decryption. I have the code ready here again, so feel free to pause the video to copy it. Change the security key here, and make sure to enter the same key you used earlier for encryption. It must be identical, otherwise, the decryption won't work. Once done, go back to the decrypt button and add the following code. If not string is null, or empty, txt encrypted.txt, then this code checks if the encrypted password text box is empty. If it's not empty, add the following code. txt decrypted result dot text equals decrypt txt encrypted dot text. This code decrypts the text from txt encrypted text using decrypt function and display the original password to txt decrypted result. If txt encrypted password is empty, display a message box that says, please enter an encrypted password to decrypt. We are done. Now, go back to the design view and run the program. Input a password string again to encrypt. Then click the encrypt button to generate the encrypted password. Copy the encrypted password. Then click decrypt button. As you can see, we successfully encrypted and decrypted the password. That's all for this video. If you encounter any issues or have questions and suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next videos.